Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can draw L profile and X sections of river or road uh, uh, using SWDTM in AutoCAD. So, uh, before moving on, let me first tell you what actually L profile and X section are. So, let's take an example of this river, nice and beautiful river. If you cut this river longitudinally like this and see the section from here. The profile obtained is your L profile and if you got the section you no know, river like this and see the section from here right here you are you are actually seeing the section horizontally then the section obtained is your X section or that is cross section alright so having this known uh, first open the organ and uh, type UN command hit enter so make sure that the unit selected here is decimal click OK after that open SWDTM alright then open your data in Excel so uh, first you need to uh, plot only the center line points if it's the river you have to uh, plot the center line points of the river and if it's the road you have to plot the center line points of the road alignment first for that select the remarks column and click on this sort and filter and click sort A to Z and click on sort alright oh we messed up the serial number column no worries select this column hit delete and one enter to enter all right so after that find the points of the center line okay here are they so select all the points all right after that click on points import points from excel import points all right so double click middle mouse button so you see the center line points here so click on alignment draw alignment and select points one after other just like this nice and easy okay alright okay so after doing this uh, you have to plot the rest of the points for that open Excel and select all the points like this click on points import points from Excel alright then then you add a boundary add a boundary however you like right hit enter after that click on points process the points click OK alright after that triangulate alright so after that click on X sections and click on sections by DTM and click on L profile and X section so if you want to draw only the L profile you can click here and if you want to draw L profile and X sections click this option right so starting chain is must be 0 plus 0 0 or you can change it if you like it and uh, X section interval is 20 and you can change it I'll take 15 and click on right chain is and partial distance so partial distance from it's, it's your alignment right so 15 meter from here and 15 meter from here uh, this thing means that okay so after that click on uh, select and uh, you have to save a file I'll name it profiles profiles okay it's save alright so uh, select the starting point of the chain is okay okay so here is the starting point and select it alright alright so after doing that after doing that click on X section and draw L profile draw L profile and uh, make sure that it's from default file and uh, uh, here it's include all chains and paper size keep it all and horizontal and vertical scale uh, you can change it if you like and I'll be keeping it as it is and uh, you don't need these these things and uh, you, you don't need to change them 
alright after that click on execute and click on draw all so select the point where you want to draw your L profile select somewhere you know a bit far from your alright your data okay so we got our L profile here oh my river is actually going down then up then down and up and down oh no so you know my data was a bit of messed up that is why uh, this this kind of profile is shown the accurate profile is somewhat uh, like this if it is a starting point then it will go all the way something like this this alright so it will go all the way like ups and downs nice and easy okay so hit enter so this is your uh, this is my you know uh, uh, faulty day faulty data L profile and this is what actually it should be all right so after drawing uh, L profile when you draw we need to draw X section for that uh, just close this and click on X section and draw L profile and draw X section all right so make sure that it's from default file and it's include in all changes and horizontally scale I'll keep it uh, 50 I'll make it 50 alright vertically scale no, no let's keep it 100 and let's keep it uh, 50 okay so number of rows number of columns I'll tell you later what these actually mean and click on execute and click on draw all and select the point I'll select it here alright so we got our sections okay so here you see number of rows uh, number of rows and number of column means that so we got our we got eight sections right so these eight sections are arranged in four rows and three columns okay so here one row two row three row fourth row and one column second column as the sections are over there is no third column so row distance means distance between these two rows and column distance means call distance between these two columns alright so this is how you draw L profile and X sections uh, you know you can later print them uh, uh, in whatever page you like and whatever however you like so I think uh, you understand how you can draw L profile and X sections. So this much for uh, this video. If you like it, hit like and subscribe for more awesome videos. Thank you.